Hey everybody, um, so I'm going to show you a Dynamo script uh, that essentially deletes parameters uh, from a family. Uh, the reason why this I created this script was because within the firm I work for, we have a template mechanical family that has about 300 parameters, and those 300 parameters don't um, pertain to, to, to every type of equipment so the idea is that the user would run this script choose specific components and based off of those components they will keep specific parameters and the other ones will get deleted from the family now um, this script I'm going to show you is a simple version of that now in this case we're only going to delete three parameters um, and uh, but you can build onto this you can use uh, uh, data shapes and build you know enhance this build this add UIs to it um, have other functionality like bringing in uh, new parameters or bringing in um, um, uh, elements or geometry so there's a lot of things that you can build on from this uh, the main package I use uh, with this script is the orchid package or actually it's the only um, um, uh, package I use for this script and you can see uh, the version number there it's a phenomenal fantastic package it's awesome and uh, I recommend checking it out and also checking out their github um, so uh, what we do is we start off uh, with this script by g getting the directory path and the string um, up here, which is the name of the file that we're about to create. Uh, this will make more sense when we jump into the Python script. So in here, uh, what we do is we, we get our source path. Now this source path, path is where the template essentially lives. Um, so in this example, we're using family um, example RFA. Uh, this is going to be in the Dynamo delete uh, delete params folder. You'll find that in the OneDrive link below. Just find the folder named Dynamo dash delete params, and you can download the script, um, and you can see the family. Um, we have our destination path. Um, real quick, we import these these libraries. So make sure to do that. And one of those libraries, we get the user name. That's what uh, we put right here. That variable grabs the the person that you on the computer. So in this case, it grabs my username and replaces it there, or it actually places it between um, user and OneDrive in this case. And you can see this source up here that was doing the same thing. In this case, this was the actual template here. It was our air handling unit uh, template. Now we don't. Um, you won't see that in the actual script when you download it um, but in uh, um, so anyways the next part is the destination path so this is going to be where it gets placed and it takes the input the file name which you remember is the string up here test file one and um, so it takes the destination which is our directory path and then the file name test uh, file one and in between that is a, um, some backslashes. One of the backslashes is a special character. The other backslash is the actual backslash. Uh, backslashes, uh, the special character uh, is, a, is a really powerful thing to know if you're dealing with strings a lot, so definitely look into that. Uh, and then at the end, we just do dot RFA. The reason why we do the backslash is because you, if you look at this directory path, it doesn't have it there, so we just add that. Um, we could add it to the test file but that would mean that the user would have to type in a backslash and there's no reason when we can do it in here um, and then finally we run this uh, shut ill um, we use that library I'm not sure how to pronounce that uh, but we use that library and in there there's a copy file function and it just takes the source so the the, the template file and then the destination so it copies it and then gives it a new file name after that, we just pull that into the document load um, uh, node, and then we do uh, family edit. I'm gonna pull these down. Um, and then in family edit, after that we do parameter delete, and these are the parameters we're gonna delete, which is param three, param four, and then param six, which is a instance parameter. Um, we have seven parameters in our, in our list of um, um, parameters um, so it'll delete these three of them uh, so we should not see these three and the family when we get to that part um, and there's a, a few weight nodes 
and um, I wanted to wait for this to happen before it closed the document in the background and then I wanted um, this document dot load family to wait before uh, wait until this closes and what this input over here is is the document path um, because this one will actually save the document and you'll actually see in this folder here because this is where it's going to get copied to it'll give you backup families um, so you'll actually see that saving in real time every time you run this um, as a disclaimer I do notice that or not a disclaimer but just something to be aware of um, I do notice that this these nodes sometimes it'll cache the information or it won't close the family so it keeps that information kind of updated and live and and so when you rerun this it may not re-import the fresh family but keep the existing family that you just previously edited and then just re-edit ch more changes to it so keep that in mind sometimes you have to close everything you shouldn't run into those issues if you're running it um, through dynamo player and also if you're running it in new sessions of revit so if you're running um, you know are using different families um, so if you're but it's but i do you know i it's kind of annoying, um, but I, I would say the typical workflow though, wouldn't it be a user copying multiple families, but only one? Um, but hopefully uh, you don't run into that issues as long as it closes the family. Um, you shouldn't have a problem like that, which is cat, you know, which it caching, like it's like caching the file in the background and keeping it there. Um, and not actually closing it because if so, you know, every time you run it, it will just keep the same changes every time you change it. Um, if that makes sense. And if you run into that, it'll make more sense, um, kind of what's going on, but hopefully that, that doesn't happen to you. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and run this and then, um, what we'll get is a family here. So I'm going to press run. You can see we got our family, it did its edits, and then it saved it. Um, so there's the backup, the original first one, and then our, our test fit file one. Uh, we'll open both those and just verify or just check to see if it deleted parameters in the latest one and not in the original one. Now, again, though, this is taking the source location and moving, like it's in the same location. You may want to actually copy it to a new location and not just override it. Um, um, it's not, it's not, since we gave it a new name, it isn't overriding the original, but you may want to just to be safe, you know, copy to a, an entirely different spot. Um, so we'll minimize that, but before we do that, I want to grab the params, and if you hear um, whimpering, it's a uh, it's my puppy in the background. He, um, so I may need to let him out in a moment. Um, but anyways, let's grab that family. We'll pull that in. Oops. All right. So these are the parameters that are that we don't want to be in there. So we can see param six is gone. We go to edit type, and then we don't have parameter three or five. So there you go. So that'll delete um, the parameters uh, it'll load it in and you're good to go and so again you could extend that through data shapes and other tools um, you know extend that and take it further uh, real quick I'll show you the families. so we've got two families we've got the before and after so this will be the before this should have our um, parameters in there so we can see all our parameters are in there all seven of them and then if we close this jump into our final one or the one that it it uh, loaded into the project we look in there and then we've only got five so it deleted um, three of the parameters I mean it deleted two of the parameters
All right, so we'll check out the original file. Make sure that has all the parameters. We can see we have eight parameters in here. Now we'll check out the uh, saved one, and this one should only have five parameters. So there you go. So we have five parameters. It reloaded that one in, and um, that's what it's in our project currently. Um, you could possibly not save this, and I've done that before, and it seemed to work, but I ran into some issues sometimes. Um, but you could try not saving it. That you know, it, it might work. I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, just because I, it worked for me and I couldn't, like, sometimes it would fail, sometimes it would work, and it was hard, hard to determine what was causing the issue. So I found that this workflow or this, these nodes and the way that they're set up, um, works the best, uh, for at least doing what we're trying to do here, which is just delete parameters from a project or from a family. But anyways, let me know uh, what you think, if you have a, a better method or if this helped you out. Um, let me know if you extend this even further. Um, but I appreciate your time and thanks a lot for watching.